Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn algebra. Today is our lesson number 88. Lesson number 88. We are in the process of learning. We are in the process of learning how to solve linear equations. How to solve linear equations. There is a course schedule that you see there. Before I start the lesson for today, before I start with the linear equations that I have for today, there are five of them that you can solve. Let me first quickly go over something that I brushed off yesterday in yesterday's lesson, which was this statement right here. It says, if the sum of the digits, if the sum of the digits of a given number if the sum of the digits of a given number is divisible by 3 then the number itself is divisible by 3 for example for example let's see where can we put some here's here's the number uh, let's do this one 2150 can we divide that by 3 the answer is yes how do we know that because some of the digits 2 plus 1 plus 5 plus 0 2 plus 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 5 is 8, oh, 8 does not go into 3, oh, it's, this, this thing is not divisible by 3. We know that 2150 is not divisible by 3, but we know something more than that. Because it adds up to 8, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 5 is 8, had it been 6, 6 is divisible by 3. Because this adds up to 8, that tells us that if you were to try to divide 2150 by 3, you will have a remainder of 2. You will have a remainder of true because two. Why? Because you will have a remainder of two because instead of two thousand one hundred and fifty, had it been two thousand one hundred and forty-eight, this number would have gone even into three. And how do we know that? Because two plus one is three. Three plus three plus four is seven. Seven plus eight is fifteen. Fifteen is divisible by three. You see, right here we're going to show it. Let's divide. Let's divide this number by three. How many 3's in a 2? 2 has 0 3's. This 2 goes and joins this guy, becomes 21. How many 3's in 21? 21 has 7 3's. How many 3's in a 4? 4 has 1 3. And that but remaining one goes and joins this guy, becomes 18. How many 3's in 18? 18 has 6 3's. Voila! 2148 divided by 3 will give us 716. And if you like, to satisfy your curiosity, we can quickly verify it. 716 divided by 3, 18, carry 1, 9 plus 1 is 10, carry 1, 21 plus 1 is 22, which is not the same as what I started out with. What the hell is going on here? 7, and then 1, 18, which is 6, something has gone wrong here. 718, 8, 1, where does the 0 come from? 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. What the? 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4, which is so far so good, is 48. And 7 times 3 is 21. Voila, there you go. So it turns out 2,148 2, divided by 3 equals 716. There, therefore, therefore, in our original number, 2,150, we would have had remainder of 3, uh, remainder of 2. Because this sum is uh, 8, we know the sum uh, 6 goes into 3. You understand? Let's do one more example before I start for today. Let's do one more example. I'm going to give you a number and you tell me if that number is divisible by 3 or not. Shall we? Here, here's my phone number. I'm going to give you my phone number. Are you ready? Here we go. 1-800-808. Technically it is P-R-E-P. -E now I have to figure out what P-R-E-P -E stands for. 1-800-808-7737 Now, I'm going to put the commas to see what actually this translates into a number. Because I never, I never tried it, obviously. So let's see what it translates into. This is three digits right here. One, two, three. Uh, another three digits. So far we are up to million. One, two, three. We are into billions. So it's 18 billion. Listen carefully. If somebody asks you, 
if somebody asks you, is 18 billion, 8 million, 87,737 divisible by 3? Instead of telling them, how the hell do I know? You tell them, give me a second, I'll tell you. Here's how you tell. Listen carefully, okay? 1 plus 8 is 9. 9 is divisible by 3, so they play no role. 7 plus 8 is 15. 15 is divisible by 3. They play no role. 7, 8, 8 and 7, that's, that's 15. So these two play no role. And 7 and 3, of course, plays no role because 3 is divisible by 3. Ah, so there, there you go. Which means, which means that 18 billion, 8 million, 87,737, if you were to divide it by 3, you would have a remainder of 1. Because had this been 6, it would have gone evenly into 3. You have a remainder of 1. That's what this says. It is out of my system. I feel much better. Let's do the, let's do the lesson for today. That is not what we are here for. We are here to learn how to solve linear equations. What day are we at? 88. And I have five problems. First one. 3x minus 4 equals 88. 3x minus 4 equals 88. First thing first. First, we have to get rid of this negative 4 somehow. So let's add 4 to both sides. Negative 4 and positive 4. Negative 4. We are adding 4 to both sides. Negative 4 and positive 4, they drop out. And we end up with 3x equals 88 plus 4 is 92. 92. 92 is not divisible by 3. What the hell was I thinking? Eighty-eight. Oh, this is amazing. And I have not solved these problems ahead of time. When I made the problems, of course, I knew what the values of the variables were because I made them. But then I had to solve one more time to make sure that things work out. Anyway. Uh, let's change. This. So the answer is, how I want to make this 93. So let's make this 89. Let's change our original equation. Let's make it 89. 89 plus 4 is 93. So now, in order to solve for x, we need to divide both sides by 3. Divide both sides by 3. This 3 cancels out this 3 and x equals 93 over 3. How many 3's in a 9? There are 3 3's in a 9. How many 3's in a 3? There is 1 3. So the answer is x equals 31. x equals 31. Which makes sense because we can verify 3 times 31. We know that 3 times 30 is 90. Therefore 3 times 31 must be 93. 93 minus 4, voila, equals 89. There we go. Let's do one more, shall we? One more. We're done with this thing. The answer is 31 and change that to 89. Problem number 2. 4p plus 3 equals 151. 4p plus 3 equals 151. So 4p, we need to get rid of the 3. First, we get rid of this 3 here. First, we get rid of this 3 by subtracting 3 from both sides of the equation. You must say the whole thing. Don't be lazy. Sub by subtracting 3 from both sides of the equation. And this positive 3 cancels out this negative 3. And we're left with 4p. This 4 feet comes down. 151 minus 3 is 148. 148. Now we have to divide by 4. This 4 can sum out to this 4. How many 4s in a, how many 4s in 14? Well, how many 4s in 1? There is only one 4 in there is no zero there, there are zero 4s in 1. So this one goes and joins this guy becomes 14. How many 4s in 14? There are three 4s in 14, which makes a 12. The remaining two is going to go and join this guy, and it becomes 28. How many 4s in 28? Seven of them. Voila. 
the answer is 37. Let's quickly verify it. 37 times 4, 37 times 4, 28. 12 plus 2 is 14. 148, ah, there you go, 148 plus the 3 is going to give us 151. So it does work. The answer is 37. Let's do one more. Next one. I need the room again, so I need to raise everything in a hurry. Okay. Just give me a second. While you're doing copying this thing, just give me a second. I'll be right back. I'm curious to see where we stand time-wise. All right. Let's do the next one. What number was this? This is only number two. I have three more to go. I have scheduled five for today. Five problems. 9y minus 2 equals 250. We got to get rid of the negative 2. How do we get rid of the negative 2 from the left hand side? By add, adding positive 2 to both sides. Don't just say by adding positive 2. Because then the question is, by adding positive 2 to what? Not to this side, not to that side, but to both sides. Because in order for equation to remain equation, whatever you do to one side must be done, the exact identical operation to the other side. So this negative 2 cancels out this positive 2 and we're left with 9y. This 9y comes down 252. One. Let's divide both sides by 3 first. Let's divide both sides by 3. Okay? Because it's much easier to go in step by step Trying to divide 252 by 9, if you ask me how much is 252 by 9, my answer would be, how the hell do I know? Do not pick up your calculator. Leave it alone. Give it a rest. Okay, save the battery, as I always say, for the rainy day. In this course, you do not need a calculator. I do not want you to touch calculator. When I'm teaching in the classroom, kids are not allowed to use calculator. They hate me for that. But that's just the way it is. So, 9 divided by 3 is 3. And then, does 252, is 252 divisible by 3? Well, we'll soon find out. Here is our rule. If the sum of the digits of a given number is divisible by 3, then the number itself is divisible by 3. Which, of course, this would be because otherwise I'm in trouble. We'll find out. 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 is divisible by 3, which means 252 should go even into 3. Let's find out. How many 3 is in 2? How many... How many 3 is in 2? Answer is none. So this 2 goes and joins this guy, becomes 25. How many 3 is in 25? There are 8 of them. Because 8 3's are 24. The remaining 1 goes and joins this guy, and it becomes 12. How many 12's in 3? 12 divided by 3 is 4. Voila. The answer is 84. Y equals 84. We are going to quickly verify it just to make sure that we did not muck it up, particularly now that I said muck it up, okay? Don't get excited. Muck with an M, not an F. Muck it up. Uh, we're going to quickly verify it, just to make sure that we did not muck it up, because particularly now that I, now that I realize that I, did not, I do not actually have the answers there. Let's do it quickly. 9 times 84. 84 times 9. 4 9s are 36. 8 9s are... Well, I know that 8 tens are 80. If you take away 8 from 80, that's 72. 72 plus 3 is 75. This does not look like a good sign to me. What the? Oh, we are not done yet. Oh, yeah, 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 we are not done yet. We are not done yet. This is 3 right here. 3y equals 84. Now we got to go second round. That was the whole point. I do not know how to divide 252 by 9, so I was doing in the baby step. Divide first by 3 and then divide again by 3. So now we have to divide one more time by 3. 3 divided by 3 is, cancels out. And y equals 84 divided by 3. That's 84 divided evenly into 3. Well, it does because 8 plus 4 is 12. And 12, some of the digits is divisible. 12 is divisible by 3, so 84 should be divisible by 3. Let's find out. How many 3's in 84? How many 3's in 8? There are 2 3's in 8. 2 3's are, are 6. The remaining 2 goes and joins this guy becomes 24. 
How many threes in 24? There are eight of them. So it turns out the y is in fact 28. That's our final answer. Let's verify, shall we? y is 9 times y. 9 times y. Our y is 28. 9 times y, and when we get the answer, when we subtract 2 from it, we better get 250. 8 nines are, we just talked about it, 8 tens are 80, therefore 8 nines must be 72. 2, 7, 2 nines are 18, 18 plus 7, well 8 plus 7 is 15, so 18 plus 7 must be 25. And minus 2, minus 2 will give us the 250 that we want. Well, it works. What number was this? I still have two more to go. So that was the end of that problem. Keep everything separate. I know it's kind of getting... That was the verification part that we did. You must always verify it. That's your insurance to make sure that you did the right work. Like just now here, I almost read a boo-boo. I forgot that there's a three here. Didn't I? Hmm. Let's do one more. I always make a point of plugging in back in the equation and see if it works. Make sure that I did not mock it up. 17w plus 1 equals 52. First thing first, we need to get rid of the 1. Let's subtract 1 from both sides. So 17w equals 51. And now there's not a hell of a lot you can do there because we're going to divide both sides by 17. And 17 being a prime number, there is not much we can do there. There is not much we can do there. We just have to know how many 17s make 51. I don't know. We're just going to do it out. It doesn't take that long. 17 plus 17 is 34. One more 17 should do it. There you go. That's already a good sign. It's a good sign because 7 plus 4 is 11. That's what we need. We need 1 in a unit digit. 11, 1, we carry 1. 1 plus 3 plus 1 is 51. Voila. So it's 3. W equals 3. Let's quickly verify as we only saw. 3, 17 make 51. 3, 17 make 51. Plus 1 is going to give us 52. It works. Let's do the next one. We are done with this one. The last problem for today I have is 5z minus 3 equals 102. We need to get rid of this 3 first, negative 3, by adding positive 3 to both sides. Negative 3 takes out positive 3 and we are left with 5z equals 102 plus 3 is 105. How do we get rid of this 5 from here? By, by dividing both sides by 5. This 5 takes out this 5 and z equals... Well, how many 5's how many in a 1? One? 1 only has 0 5. 1 has no 5's. So this one goes and don't joins this guy, becomes a 10. How many 5's in a 10? Two of them. How many 5's in a 5? One of them. So answer is 21. Let's quickly verify. 5 times 21, 5 times 21, well I know that 5 times 20 is 100, we know that 5 times 20 is 100, and if we don't, we should, therefore 5 times 21 must be 5 more than that, 105, 105 minus 3 is going to give us 102, 105 minus 3 is going to give us 102 that we're looking for, it works, it works, everything is jolly, Everything is hunky-dory, as we say in the desert. I will see you tomorrow on day number 89. Alright? I know.